Norman Lloyd is reputed to be the oldest working actor in Hollywood. Over his career, he's worked with everyone from Charlie Chaplin and Orson Welles to Denzel Washington and Amy Schumer. Earlier this month, Lloyd celebrated another birthday, born in 1914, that now makes him 102. I've worked in my business for 36 years. I can't remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was impressed with that number till I found out how long you'd been in your business. Over 80 years. Norman Lloyd starred in his first Broadway play in 1935, his first film in 1942. You made the cover of the Journal of Longevity. A few years ago. <laughs> None of these bums are the equal of Babe Ruth. Norman, Babe Ruth was awful. And he's still performing. They call you now the oldest living actor. Is that true? If it is true, what do you, what do you think of that title? I really don't relish it uh, because it, it infers that it's age that is giving me some dimension, not to the, the skill of acting. What are aerobics? You coming? Yes, I'll be right there, I'll be right there. Meryl's wearing a two-piece. Lloyd's most recent acting credit was in the Amy Schumer comedy Trainwreck. He was 100 when he got the part after meeting director Judd Apatow for lunch. And when uh, it was time to go, uh, Judd said, uh, he said, I'll walk you to your car. And I got into it and started to drive and it hit me. He wanted to see if I could walk. <laughs> That's not a test a lot of actors have to go no, through. That, that was my screen test. <laughs> <laughs> we know that someday we're gonna die. We just don't know when. Lloyd may be most familiar to TV audiences as Dr. Daniel Auschlander on the 80s series, St. Elsewhere. I'm 72 years old now and dying of cancer. His contract was for four episodes. He stayed all six seasons. You were supposed to die. Yes. <laughs> but you didn't. No, because I, I was, uh, I refused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it, the character caught on. Much like Norman Lloyd's career, which I just keeps going. Born Norman Perlmuter in Jersey City, New Jersey, he joined the original company of Orson Welles' Mercury Theater. In 1939, Welles took him to Hollywood to make a film. But the deal fell through and Lloyd returned to New York. As a consequence, I was not in Citizen Kane. Now, I look upon all that as a great break. Why? Because I fell into Saboteur. He'd play the title character in the 1942 Alfred Hitchcock thriller and star in the director's climactic scene shot on a set recreating the Statue of Liberty. He said, do you think you can go over that railing Come on, backwards? Guy. He didn't want to double. He didn't want to cut. He wanted to be right there as I backed up over backwards over the railing. And I still remember the grip who was lying in the mattress to catch me so I wouldn't go off the 14 feet. His name was Scotty. It was the beginning of a long relationship with Hitchcock. Lloyd would also star in Spellbound. How do you feel today, Mr. Gums? Somewhat better, Doctor. The thing seems a little less troublesome. Then spent eight years as a director and producer of the TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Uh, this is a call sheet for Limelight. Uh, come, dear. We in 1952, Lloyd would work with Charlie Chaplin and an extraordinary cast in the film Limelight. That is the greatest call sheet ever issued. You have Chaplin and Buster Keaton on the same call sheet. Jesus, <laughs> you can't get greater in this business. Lloyd and Chaplin had first met on the tennis court in the 40s. Was he a good tennis player? Yes, but he had one severe limitation. He did not want to wear his glasses when he played, so he wouldn't go to the net. You continued to play tennis till you were 100, is that right? I played tennis till I was 99, and I literally, literally fell on my face. 
that, that'll do it, I guess. That'll do it. I said, Norman, you have been delivered a message. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst all the memorabilia on the walls of Norman Lloyd's study are pictures of his wife, Peggy, who died five years ago at age 98. Two days before she died, she said, how long have we been married? And I said, 75 years. And she said, it should last. Last week in his Los Angeles neighborhood. Look at this wonderful thing I got. Modern family star Ed O'Neill threw a small party. Oh, this is beautiful. To celebrate an actor for whom the curtain will always be up. I'd like to find a good part to play, but there are not many parts for 102-year-old men. <laughs> but you're available. Beautifully put, thank you. But acting... Well, I never stop. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Just an amazing guy. I mean, how many actors have worked with Ingrid Bergman and Amy Schumer? I mean, just an extraordinary career still going. And you know what? He can still act. 102. Yeah, amazing guy. Two kids, one in, the one in their 70s, one in the 60s. I mean, yeah. I need to know what he's eating for breakfast. Yeah, me too.